Okay, I'm presuming you're standing now. Before you, 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 you're preparing your fire now to turn away, so you open your blower slightly to, to keep the smoke out of the cap. Right, you, you, you've set your jets as I've suggested. Half a turn at the back and the, the front one's 20 pounds. Or, again, that'd be about half a turn because you don't have gauges. Um, open your coal and, and uh, open your jets and then open your coal and watch watch where it's going on. To, uh, observe the distribution over the fire bed. You're, you're aiming for a level bed all over. It must be level and on the bars. Um, This is your boiler, so you want a level, a level bed all over. If you've got a combustion chamber, which these have, it doesn't do any harm to have it slightly higher at the front to give more heat to the to the boiler. But don't let it get too high. Then you, if it gets too high at the front, you've got big troubles. It won't burn away, and then you've got you've got to clean your fire and get it down. So try and keep it level. But if it goes a slightly higher at the front, that that that's not going to be a major problem. It mustn't go it mustn't go too high, it mustn't go right up to the brick arch if you can help it. What about in the heel? At the back the back corners, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh I'll, I'll come to that. The back corners you want them flat. Okay. But they must be getting cold. Um, so you guys didn't fire with with a heel in the back? No, I can't no, no. This is, this is plan view. Here's your door, here's your firing table. You've got veins something like this, something like that. The veins, but this, these are now not the veins, that, these are the, uh, the veins that are built into the firing table. Uh, so your front jets are servicing this area, your back jets are servicing the back corner and the sides. Back jets, back jets, left back, right back. Okay. How far right. forward would you say those rear jets are actually? Right. Uh, you, some of the some of the problems you'll get. You'll get you, you'll get your fire building up here. And it's not that one that's doing it, it's, it's the, the left back blowing in conjunction with the left front and putting too much coal there. So if you find you're building up at the left front corner, reduce your pressure on your left back jet. But you'll almost certainly, if it's building up there, you'll almost certainly find it's getting dead here. And that's, that's, that's a, a, a quick way, the first thing, if you, first thing if you see your steam starts dropping, look in your back corner. Well, I mean, that's the same with the hand bomber. You see your steam start dropping, make sure your back corners are not gone dead. Hmm. Remember, <laughs> partic particularly with the score sort of cold you've got here, remember that, uh, here, yeah, Mr. Page here. That's why I've done it. Mr. Page here, sorry. Yeah, it'd be too big, which means it wasn't thrown you wouldn't, up. You didn't have it on. You didn't have it on. Due to the nature, due to the nature of mechanical stoker and the, and the fact that you've got a very thin fire bed, it's much more essential that the driver, the engineer and the fireman must cooperate and be, and be in close contact and the fireman needs to know in advance when he's going to have a, a when the engineer's going to have a requirement for steam so that he can anticipate and get his fire ready. If, if, if the driver starts pulling away and your fire is not ready with a, with a hand bomber you can still sort of, you've got more chance of catching up. But with a mechanical, if the driver starts pulling away and the fire is dead you, you'll be in trouble. So the, 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 fire, the stoker must be aware of where the gradients are and, if, and the, the driver must make him aware of when he's going to open up and if, if he hasn't got his fire ready then he must give him a couple of minutes to get his, get his boiler warmed up. Uh, More like an oil burner. 
Yeah. Uh, if you want, if you want to get get it warmed up particularly quickly, for example, here's your foot. This is now extend from the side view. It's a firing table. Um, you're talking about a heel to, to to give it a body. In fact, we we do this all the time. Um, as I said, you want your fire level. But if, if a particular steam output, so you particularly work in the engine hard, close your jets and, and roll, the, roll the conveyor. Let the coal just roll in and make a big mound underneath the table. But when you're finished, then open the jets briefly, just to blow off the residue so there's no coal laying on the, on the table that can then burn it. So um, that, is, that is what we call banking it. And then that, that, will, that will give you a, a, a body of, of, of heat there while that burns away. Um, that's that's what you see. I did when I when I took over Iowa City last year, and and that fire that fire was up to the brick arch. So uh, what I did uh, when when John pulled away out of Iowa City, I rolled I rolled a huge pipe mound of coal there, and let let this lot burn away. So that by the time this lot had burned away, then I could start firing. But that while this lot was burning away, I provided the heat from that 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 I rolled under the table. But be careful not to burn the table. Um, so the, 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 the times that I would do that, I've got down here, if the engineer is starting off with an with a, uh, uh, unprepared fire, that gives, that gives you a body while you can get in the heat going. If there's a heavy demand for steam, going up banks. And if, if, you, if your fire has started going like this, you've started getting lumps all over the fire, by, by rolling it there again, that gives you a chance for this lot to burn away and, and get it get level again while, while that's providing the heat for you. Uh, Remember, particularly, particularly with the sort of coal you're getting, that, that most, of your, most of your heat and most of your, your coal burns before it hits the bed. Your coal burns between the firing table and hitting the bed. Um, so most of your heat is released before, it, before the coal gets onto the fire bed. Uh, but with the, with, the, with the sort of coal that we get with the big lumps, of course it doesn't. It, then it, it lays on the fire bed and, and uh, two or three minutes before it, 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 it's burned away. Uh, so you don't have that problem with, with, with that. With our coal, that's what forms a clinker. Because partic particularly if you're firing to keep up with, a, uh, say, the driver's pulled away and the, the engine's not properly warmed up, um, now you're, you're putting in more coal than you need, and now the, the coal doesn't get a chance to burn. I'm talking now about our coal, the big lumps, not not this stuff. But the coal doesn't get a chance to burn on the firebed, and you put more on top of it, and the next thing you know, you've got clinkers. So. Um, Try, try to let that, the same as hand bomber, try to let that stuff burn away. Don't put fresh coal on, coal that's not burnt already. Did the coal in South Africa, besides being high ash, clinker easy? It's low, low calorific value as well. But it, it clinkered easy? Yeah. 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 Then I'll just, I'll just done a summary of what I call troubleshooting. I think I've gone through most of them. If the steam starts to drop, the first place to look in your back corners. And we do reduce your, your back jet pressure to, to compensate. Uh, I've done the front corners have done the same. The front corners can be caused by the back jets. More coal on one side than on the other side. I've, I've covered that. Uh, adjust your, your two veins. Well, I noticed that when we were firing here the last couple of weeks that we don't have a lot in the corners. You guys don't put a lot in the rear corners. We heal it. A little bit. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's but then by the time it did, you know, we'll start off and we'll it up, and then by the time we get to the end of the Peter, what do you, I missed part of what's going on here. What, what, uh, what are we saying, how you want to carry the fire? What's the best way to carry it? The depth and, uh, and uh, from front to rear corners. He said level. Level was a little bit on the front sheet. Yeah. Little little we heel. Won't do any armor in, 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 the, in the front, but not not not. But not you too typically much. didn't carry big heels in the corners. The in the rear corners. No, no flat. The only only heavy is, is here underneath. Under, if, if, as I roll it like that, underneath the firing table. 
No, def definitely not heavy in the corners. With the, with the hand bomb we used to, yeah. Yeah, okay. With the hand bomb we, we packed the corners. Yeah, right. Um, well, we've, we've, never d uh, we've never done that on a mechanical. And mechanicals, you typically didn't have big heels in the back. No. The philosophy. I don't, I don't see, I don't see you, but it wouldn't do, wouldn't do any harm, would it? Well, let me ask you this. The, the philosophy behind a heel and a horseshoe heel is, is that when your hand bomb is, is that you got less great area to fire. In other words, you know, if you heel it up big, see, oh, yeah. and in the back and in the corners, it's going to draft hard in the middle and the front, right? Yeah. So then you don't have as much to fire. Yeah. That's the whole philosophy. That's why they did it that way. So they only had to fire two thirds instead of, you know, well, full. They, they, they used to let the corners coke, coke up and they had a big reserve if you pulled hard. Right, it's the same flow hard. Yeah. 